Um, I'm also in some 12-step groups uh, regarding uh, relationships and stuff like that. Generally speaking, when I came into to recovery, I think every, every you know, when, you, when I started doing spiritual work, like as you start to do spiritual work, you start to, the things that you used to like start to fall away. You know, like, uh, I mean, I didn't, you know, I was actually an overeater, so I didn't have, like, eating buddies as such, didn't have donut buddies or anything. But, um, but you know, like, my career in the stock market, like, I, I, w I knew that as I started to do spiritual work, I'm never going back into the stock market. And those guys who are acting out in active addictions, they wouldn't be my long-term friends. And also, I used to love, you know, I remember after getting my kidney failure, like watching films in the cinema, like you know, get those unlimited passes, <clears throat> so you can just live in a cinema forever and escape life. So I was doing all of those kind of things, but as you did the spiritual work, all of those th types of work I was doing and I was starting to let, you know, certain, uh, I remember, I, I, you know, um, I very quickly became a hypnotherapist and I had a female colleague, but she really, um, had a problem with food and relationships and I told her about spiritual work but she didn't want to do it. I would just find it, I just could not connect with her any longer so eventually that stopped as well. So as your vibration increases things start to drop away from you and that's quite normal. I also found though um, if you let's, if you um, also when I was doing things when I was doing things which were, um, uh, when, I was, when, I was, when I was holding on to things which were not in alignment with my new vibration, then they would create unmanageability. They'd create unmanageability and, and then when you let them go, it would bring in more grace, serenity and peace and stillness and more flow into my life. So that's one of the things and also it's like Whatever you, whatever you do, I mean, there's a, I mean, Hawkins would talk about a line from the Bible, by, by its fruits you shall know it. When you do something and in the long term you're getting more serene, more manageable and more peaceful, then it's a good thing. And when you make a decision in whatever area it is, and your life starts to become more chaotic, more full of drama, and more full of unmanageability over the long term, then you know you're, you're, you've made a choice that is taking you down. So you can tell from, from, from your experience. So it's like, so I know that when, I'm, when I have relationships, I know when, I, like with every individual I meet, like generally speaking, like some of the individuals I meet, it's like my life gets better after I meet them. And some people I meet, my life gets worse after I meet them. And this can be quite a subtle thing, but there, there, there definitely is. And generally speaking, when you meet people who are, a lot higher, like I remember meeting Muji. You know, after I'd meet Muji, like the whole week would fly by with miracles. You know, I remember after meeting Hawkins. After meeting Hawkins, I got the perfect sponsor, who was my sponsor for, for 10 years in the 12 steps. Um, my, all my illnesses started to leave me. So it's like when you meet people who are much more advanced than you, like lots of good things happen. And certain people, you know, have had to cut out because, you know, they just invite in a lot of unmanageability. Okay. <clears throat>